13 tonight at 7.30. Guys, be good. All, All right, right. Thanks. thanks, Mark. Finally tonight, Super Susie Mann has a rare and deadly form of cancer. When her doctors offered her chemotherapy, she rejected it. Instead, Susie opted to keep swinging and live out her last days her way. She's now seven months into her six to nine months of living. We caught up with Super Susie and her family today at the Inn at Pocono Manor. The Inn is giving her the opportunity to complete several things on her bucket list. The list includes things like swimming with dolphins, hang gliding, hot air ballooning, and skydiving. This weekend, she will be dog sledding and snowmobiling. Well, I like to live. Yeah. And not exactly quietly. <laughs> anything to do, you know. Uh, yeah, anything that's different when you're in a different place, I think. I mean, makes it more exciting. Susie's family has been with her on all her adventures. Oh my God, I worship the ground she walks on. I am so proud to call her mom. Susie says she's sorry for all the people who aren't treasuring each moment of their lives. I mean, they're missing so much. Um, I don't know, you, you know, you could be passive, but uh, I, I'm, not, I'm not the passive type. I like getting out and doing things, being more aggressive, I guess you'd say. But anyway, uh, no, just to sit and watch is not my cup of tea, thank you. What do you say to somebody, like how about that's, that's going through maybe the same thing that you are? What would you say to uh, that individual? I would say, first of all, I think they're lucky to know their um, time, time frame because it gives them a chance to do the things that they may, might have wanted to do and, you know, never got around to doing. In the beginning of the day, it's about snow, dog sledding. It's about hang gliding and jumping out of planes. At the end of the day, it's really about loving one another and being a family mm -hmm. and showing people how to love. Being with mom, whose ability to totally accept whatever God has dealt her as a hand. She's an awesome bridge player. But she looks at her hand, she looks at her cards, and she plays her hand from there. Today's the first day of the rest of your life. How are you going to play it? Why don't we play nine ball? Susie and her family will be using Pocono Manor's equipment and sled dogs on Camelback Mountain tomorrow night after it closes to guests. And that's all for the Pocono Report. The Valley Report is next. Mm -hmm. Very true. Thanks, Mark. Well, you met Super Susie here on News 13 Friday. She came to the Poconos to check off another adventure on her bucket list. Susie created her bucket list when she learned she had six to nine months to live, and her family came along for the ride of their lives. I'll, uh, I'll do it my way. So that was fine. And... Um, my daughter was with me, and I think it was you that suggested the bucket list, ways. But anyway, we both took, took to it like ducks to water. We had the family uh, dinner. And we had the family dinner that night, and every, everybody jumped on it. Saturday night, Susie Mann did two things she had never done before. First, snowmobiling. TVs or the snowmobile? Which ones? Oh, I don't know. They're oranges and apples. Oranges and apples. Are you warm? Yeah. I'm All right. You're behind. <laughs> I said that. You know, half the thing is holding on to a good-looking man. <laughs> you go. Next, she went dog sledding thanks to the inn at Pocono Manor's sled dogs. Are you excited, Mom? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The dogs carried Susie all around, one of the few places in the Poconos with snow, Camelback Mountain. Mom, is it an adventure that you're glad that you had? Oh, you better believe it. Had yeah, you ever absolutely. thought of having dog sledding venture before? No. Never, even when when you went to Alaska? No, I don't think I ever thought of it. Isn't this fun to do something you never thought that you'd experience? Ever? How true, how true. It's great. Super Susie, she earned that name, boy. <laughs> Proved it tonight. See what her next adventure will be. She says she'll be snorkeling with whales. I'm sure that'll be in a much warmer climate. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> but you know, the camelback looked good there. Rain though, uh, kind of put a damper on the ski areas today. Just but for today. Things will be better. I think things are going to improve very quickly, especially from their standpoint. They'll be able to make snow again.